And I did, and I did use one. Yeah, so might as well catch one and then just swallow the other one whole or whatever you do to them. Yeah. The gritty Lynx over there roasting over a campfire. <laughs> Philly film games. It's over, and we're back. Welcome to uh, Philly film games again. Uh, I found the key now, and I'm going to be better suited to taking care of this last little stretch of this level. Get the fuck away from me, Raphael! I'll kick your ass. Hmm. I don't know what the hell you really are, but yeah. I'm assuming you're a turtle. The way you act. You look kind of like one. I like to assume that there's some sort of turtle. Yes, it would be nice to think that. Unless they look like something crazy like Gamera. Mm. Oh, fuck. Alright, I need, I need at least a little bit of light. I can't. Especially with this many fuckers in here. Oh, boof. Get it, get it, get it. There you go. And take down downtown Julie Brown. Dick. I, I can handle one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can handle one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. As you die. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm going to light up the room is just smash my hammer against the goddamn... Oh. Work! <laughs> Work! <laughs> Work, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and then boom. Okay... Yeah, and this is the game where uh, equipping the item that you get in the level... Oh, fuck. It actually becomes handy. Like in the later Zeldas. Yeah, whereas you couldn't beat the boss without, without it. it. Yeah, this is sort of where that began. Even though I don't really need to do it, I can do it two ways. Like, I can, I can sit here and do this. Or I can use bombs. Mm -hmm. But... Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's use some bombs. Yikes. Yikes. Um. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Forgot about that shit. He ain't having it. No, he isn't. Yeah, because, you know... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm tired of this shit. Let's just get up in his face. He's like, you know what? Uh, here we go. Take care of that. Um, how about actually, you know, get in the damn thing? Yeah, hit the giant green thing, Sam. You got it. You're fine, you're okay. There, see, you're fine. Yeah, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I got this. God. Just, just give me the goddamn thing. Quit moving so much. It's like you don't want to die or anything. Yeah, I have a stand still. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fuse. He exploded. That's the one thing I really did like about the way, like, but I think that was a trope for all SNES games. Like, everything, it just fucking exploded. Pretty much. Everything blows up. Yeah, everything just explodes into action. Yeah. Or death. Or death. Oh, it's growing bigger and bigger. And who might you be? Fuck oh, not! <laughs> because of you. <laughs> I keep forgetting like, like this is just a name. <laughs> but just you. Thank you. This is what I've used to be the god lad when you try for it, you're saying. But because you can, you can watch your streams. With the world with 24, I'm starting to take cover even on Light World after building his power here. He's trying to open a larger gate between the, the gap in my teeth, between <laughs> worlds near the castle using our powers. But the I'm starting to sound like Mike Tyson. But the <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw your toothbrush, I said, fuck you toothbrush, I'll kill you and rape you. <laughs> he actually said that shit. Mm -hmm. The best line that he ever said was in a press conference. He told a guy who asked him a question, and got angry about it. He's like, "I will fuck you till you love me." <laughs> I'm like, "Holy shit!" That could take a while. <laughs> well, in prison, yeah, after yeah, a while, yeah. and shit. <laughs> it happens. Well, yeah, we got break. 
the girl who had the hiding place. I'll tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you were destroyed again. I returned to my original form at that time. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. I don't understand a thing. I like how it's not, it's not just, no, it's not at all. I have no, no idea. idea what you're talking about. Maybe way the hero did the trap for <laughs> Oh, one of eight down. And of course the monkey's gone. Alright, where do I gotta go now? Oh, I gotta go to the Swampland. Okay. You gotta go all over! Oh yeah, that's that's the name of this game. All over the fucking place. Yep. That's the way you gotta go. Back up. Back up. Back. I never liked you. I never liked you. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. You son of a motherless goat. You son... <laughs> nice. You sons of a motherless goat! He's infamous, which means he's famous. <laughs> what is infamous? It's like more than famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three amigos. You're so fun. Uh, you got me a sweater! A sweater! <laughs> In the middle of fucking Mexico. You need a fucking sweater. <laughs> oh, shit. You think amigos are just raining from the sky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. For those, those of you who don't know, you should watch this movie called Three Amigos. It came out in the mid-80s. It stars Martin Short, uh, Martin uh, Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase. Yep. It is a very good movie to watch. Uh, it's got some raunch to it, which kind of brings to its charm, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It is also, is it like... I don't know if he ever does it anywhere else, but is Martin Short actually sings in the movie? Yeah, he does. It, um, he's surprisingly good. He, yeah, I don't think he has sang in another, any other movies. Yeah, I don't know if he does any... I haven't seen any other ones where he does, but he actually does a really good job. Yes, he does. Yeah, that desert scene. Uh, what do they call his character in that? Uh, Shorty or something, something being short. Um, yeah, because he's... He's the smallest of the three. Yeah, he's and... the smallest and he's the youngest one, apparently, yeah. too. But he's the fastest. Yeah. I can't remember his name in the... Ned! Yeah, there it is. It's Ned, but he had a nickname, but the... What is it? The iguana turns to him and says, Sing a song, Ned. Yeah. <laughs> like, Sing oh, a song, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that movie. So goofball. It's but... kind of great because... I've told you a little bit about Saints Row 4. That yeah. I'm playing through. And the, you can set taunts for your character. Okay. And one of them is the Amigo Salute. Nice! <laughs> we dance, we love. We fight. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, here's where the fun with the world comes in. Because right now I can't get over there where I need to. Mm -hmm. So what I gotta do is... I gotta come out here, nearly get a spear in my face. Yeah. Uh, go in here and drain this. Really? I didn't get that? I think it's only bombs, though. I don't really care. Uh, I should probably just grab this while I'm here. Come here, buddy. No, oh, thank you for turning me into something nice. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, thank you for freeing me from that prison of evil. What the hell's with the jar? <laughs> well, you get a different prison. Son of a bitch. I, hey, I poked holes in it. You can breathe. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have a question. Where does Link put it? It's not like he has a backpack or anything. Yeah, that's always been the debate. Like, how do these people, or how does Link carry all this shit? Mm -hmm. And that's been a big fan theory and like, yeah, that's a good question. So now that I've done that, I can swim through here and take care of some things. And Hey, little guys. I remember you from Super Mario 64 looking all depressed in that goddamn level. Yeah. And you... You got... Oh. Don't need that shit. Get out of here, T-1000. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't need that shit today. Yeah. 
Although that T-1000 is a lot easier to get rid of. Yes, he is. Doesn't require molten steel. No. Definitely not. Poke, poke, poke. Open up. Thought I saw something. Knock, knock, bitch! <laughs> what, are you turning this into Predator? Mm. Knock, knock. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, Predator. And I need this back. Excuse me. Pardon. Pardon me. Taking some shit. Don't mind me. Just murdering you. That's the other thing. They can't attack you while you're on the dry land. Which is kind of odd, but I get. Yeah. Because... Of water. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's also part of the graphical limitations. Mm. Like, it's it's not as easily decipherable, but uh, this game still works on a grid. Like the old, like the first Zelda game did. Mm-hmm. Stupid little... Yeah, <laughs> Well, speaking of electrical shocks, um, my aunt had had a uh, exposed light switch, mm -hmm. and like when I, when I was five, I was trying to reach for it because it was a little higher than me, and uh, I screwed up and I touched the bottom, and that's where the the, the yeah. wire was exposed. Yeah, you touched the live wire. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> my little fingers up, like I can't feel my finger. <laughs> Mm. Man, this is weird. Why can't I feel my finger? I was helping my, my dad with some wiring at our house. This was, I was like 15. Uh huh. Uh, I accidentally doinked one of the wires in the socket. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Bet that woke you up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Next time on Philly Film Games. We're gonna we're gonna mix and match uh, water and electricity and see what happens. Okay. I'll go get I'll go get the toaster. Okay. <laughs> get the bucket. <laughs> it's our ice bucket challenge. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Hardcore ice bucket. <laughs> Hardcore ice bucket. <laughs> Dump the wa ice water on yourself. We'll we're holding a. <laughs> Your goddamn toaster. <laughs> Standing on a live wire. <laughs> Ready, sit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit.